Hi friends, this is Problems on Trains video part 6 and here we are going to learn some of the difficult question which generally comes in our exam and which is very important for exams like SSC, CAT, MAT and IBPS banks. Okay, so now question number 1. A station M and N are 276 km apart. So this is station M and this is station N and the distance between both the stations are how much 276 kilometer at the exact same time a train starts from m and other from n towards n and m respectively okay so one train suppose t1 is starting from m to n and suppose another train is t2 which is starting from n to m and these trains are meeting after 12 hours these trains when they are meeting after 12 hours the train traveling from m to n is slower by 14 kilometer in comparison to other train so suppose if the second train speed is x or you can uh, write in this way also see they are telling the first train speed is 14 kilometer less than the second train so suppose if the second train speed is x plus 14 then the first train speed will be 14 kilometer less which will be nothing but x so suppose the first train speed is x and the second train speed will become x plus 14 right okay suppose the both the trains t1 and t2 is meeting here right so once they will meet what will happen see the first train will cover this much of distance and the second travel will cover this much of the distance and then finally the both the trains will cover how much distance see the distance covered by train 1 and plus the distance covered by train 2 will be what 276 kilometer right see because when they will meet the first train will cover this much and the second travel will cover this much and totally they will cover 276 kilometer distance right now distance will be what a speed of 1 into time of 1 plus a speed of 2 into time of 2 is equals to 276 kilometer right now s1 so what is the speed of first one x and what is the time so these trains meet after what time they are meeting after 12 hours so x into 12 plus s2 so what will be the speed of s2 x plus 14 and what will be the time because they are meeting after 12 hours so it will be 12 is equal to 276 right now 12 will we can take common so x plus x plus 14 is equals to 276 see 12 will take common and it will come here right okay now x plus x plus 14 is nothing but 2x plus 14 is equals to 276 if we will try to divide by 12 it will go by 23 times so 2x is equals to 23 minus 14 is equals to nothing but 9 and x will be 9 by 2 that means 4.5 kilometer per hour will be the speed of the train so which one is slower train the slower train is x see th this is the faster because 14 is getting added so slower train is this and the speed will be 4.5 kilometer per hour question number two two trains a and b leave kolkata for sikkim at 8 pm and 8 30 pm so suppose this is your kolkata and this is your sikkim and this is train a and this is train b so train a is leaving at 8 pm and train 2 a uh, train b is leaving at 8 30 pm right and their speed is 90 km per hour and 120 km per hour 90 km per hour and 120 km per hour right okay at what distance from kolkata will they two trains meet so suppose here both the trains are coming and meeting like train a will come here and train b will come here and when they will meet that time the time will be what same right okay and the distance what they will cover from kolkata to sikkim is suppose d right see when the train a and the train b this is train a and train b will meet that time they both will cover the same distance right suppose one train is leaving at 8 pm and another train is leaving at 8 30 pm and if they are meeting somewhere suppose if they are meeting here that means the distance covered by the train a and the distance traveled by the 
covered by the train B will be same, right? And when they will meet, that time the time will be same, right? Now, can I say that the distance travelled by A will be same as distance travelled by B? Yes, very well we can say, then only they will meet each other or then only they will cross each other, right? So from Kolkata, both have travelled D distance and that only we have to calculate. Now D is equal to S into T, right? So S into B into T into B, okay? And in time, speed and distance, if any question you are solving and if you have given data with reference to the time, then you try to make the time same. What I want to say is, suppose the time taken by A or if the A is starting from 8 a.m. and the B, train B is starting at 8.30 a.m., right? And suppose this if you are assuming T time, then the train B also will have to assume in terms of T only. See, we have to make the time same. This T is what? If it is 8 o'clock means 8 and if it is 8.30 means 8.30 minus 30 will be what? 8 o'clock only. So in any question of time, speed and distance, try to make the time same so that the solution will be very easy. Now, a speed of A, a speed of A is what? 90 km per hour and time taken by A, time taken by train A to reach here, right? To reach from, uh, to reach to a destination suppose X is what? It's not given. So we, uh, we are assuming it will be T, right? Now what will be the speed of B? So speed of B is 120 into B time of B. So what will be time of B? Time of B is C, 8.30 and here 8 p.m. So I told you make the time same. So here we have assumed T, which is nothing but 8 and here it is 8.30. So what we will do? We will write it T minus 30. T minus 30 minute, right? Okay. This 30 minute, if you want to convert it to hour, then you can write 30 by 60, which is nothing but 1 by 2, which is nothing but 0.5, right? So 90, mi 90 into T is equals to 120 into T minus 1 by 2, right? And this is 30 by 4 times. If we'll divide this by 30, this is 3 times. So 3t is equals to 4 of t minus 4 into 1 by 2. 4 into 1 by 2 will be nothing but 2. Now, if it'll t, if we'll send that side, so 4t minus 3t is equals to t is equals to 2 hours. So time, whatever you are getting is nothing but 2 hours. Now they're asking, what uh, when they will meet, then what is the distance? So you see the distance covered by A is nothing but S into T. So S is what? 90. Right, here you see 90 into T and time we have got 2. That means 180 kilometer if A will travel and if B will also travel 180 kilometer, then only they will meet. Now, if you want to calculate the distance using the B formula, so D of B, distance of B is equal to S into T. So it is nothing but 120 right and see this is 2 hours minus 1 by 2 right 30 minutes so 1 by 2 it will be what 2 into 2 is 4 3 by 2 into 3 by 2 so this will be 60 times and 60 into 3 is 180 kilometer so if they will meet after the same distance if they will cover the same distance then only they will be able to meet right so thanks for watching the video